and, and talk about Odell, Odell, Odell Higgins is who he's referring to for our listeners and our viewers might not be familiar with Odell. Odell has been part of Florida State forever. Odell right. helped recruit me, you know, players way before I got there. He played at Florida State. He won championships as a coach with, with the Seminoles. And he's still there. And he's one of the best to do it in college football in regards to the defensive, defensive line. But talk about what he has meant, what, what he's meant to you. Odell Higgins, what has what he what has he meant to you? Honestly, if it weren't for Odell, I don't know how I'd be just where I'm at now. Like, mm -hmm. if anybody that actually knew me when I first got here, I was shy. I, I ain't really just want to leave home. I ain't want to leave Mississippi. So, like, I didn't really just get along. I ain't going to say I didn't get along. I really didn't talk to people when I got here. So, like, being around him and listening to his wisdom, it just opened me up to more things and trying more things and being able to go out and just – express myself and do everything I need to. And that's how, honestly, he's the reason that I became like a big leader and a big voice of the team because he pushed me and opened up things in myself that I never knew I had. Like yeah. Odell is a guy, I could call him right now. I could call him 10 years from now. He won't ask no you about question. a dime. He gonna ask you how your family doing, how you doing, how your cousin doing, how everybody doing. But that's why I feel like as defensive linemen, we play so hard for him. Because he's not even just necessarily just worried about football. Like, he's a great coach, don't get me wrong. But what makes him a great person is the stuff he does off the field. How he checks on you, calls you. He not he not the coach that's going to call you and just be talking about a play. Man, he going to call you, check on you, see how your family doing. Like, what coach you know when I had my son ask for a picture of me and my son together? Mm. Show, show me a college coach that's asking for a picture of one of his players and they kids so he can have it and put it with other play with, with uh, other pictures of all his past players and they kids. No question. And like, and and I I echo everything that you just stated in regards to Coach Hagens because I've been going to Florida State for a long time. And me and him talk whenever. Like he still, like you said, we still talk. We I, I might get a random text for it from him or a call or vice versa. And he's always been there. And that's unique. And the thing about playing the game of football, I tell people this all the time, Fabian, when players respect their coaches, they're going to do everything in their power to do what their coach wants them to do because they respect them. Yeah. If you don't respect the coach, you might not really try to execute what they want you to do because you really don't respect them. You ain't rocking with them like that. But when you trust and respect the coach, if they tell you to run through a wall, you're going to do it because you, you trust that they're putting you in positions to be successful. Exactly. That's he the name of the game. Oh. And he done played it. He done, done it. And that's that's what give us even more respect because he done done everything he coached us. It ain't like he just out here telling us to go do this and do that. Like, he show us film of him doing what we doing. Like, he showing yeah. us film, like, of him running to the ball, running down plays. He was a 250 nose guard. <laughs> no question. And we're giving him hell out there. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You talked about something. For a lot of people who might not know Fabian, he is a father. He has a son. But tell us a little bit how did having your son change your perspective on life? Having my son change my perspective on anything, on everything. Like, it's just, and like, it tapped me into my grown man phase when it came to football. Mm -hmm. Yep. And off the field wise, it just put everything in perspective. Like, it's not even about me no more. At the end of the day, I got a mouth to feed. I got to make sure he's good and whatever he needs. Yep. He don't. For nothing. I we gotta make sure he don't grow up how I grew up. Like no it's, it's just a lot that I gotta put into it. Cause I want I want my son to have the best life. And whenever I have other kids, I want them to have the best life and not have to worry about anything. And I'm gonna teach them basically how Odell taught us. Like that's how I wanna be able to raise my kids. Like Odell is teaching us, like in the in the film room. Like he mm -hmm. teaches us, like before we even start film, before we even watch anything, he talking to us about life things, like just checking on us, see how you doing. Like it's a, it's a different relationship. It's like, he's basically like your dad from home. No question. Like, and that's home. important because one thing about college athletics, especially the game of football, just from my experience, a lot of people come from situations. They don't have that type of structure. Yeah. And as a coach, when you recruit these players out of high school, you have to provide a sense of structure in their life that they won't be able to get from their loved ones because they're away from home. It's not just about football. It's not about football structure. It's about life structure, being disciplined, being able to educate these kids, these student athletes on what it means to be a quality sound man in our world. 
Exactly. And Odell, along with the rest of the coaches, they do a great job. That's why I feel like, you know, we're going to change, you know, the people's mindset of who we are as a program because we got good people. And when you have good people, good things happen. Right. Good things happen to good people, especially when you treat people the right way. And that's that's the sentiment to what Odell and the rest of the staff is doing and guys like yourself are doing when it comes to players. 